Love the trigger. Long ball. LeBron James turns and he was fouled. fouled. Does he shoot three? Yes, yes he, he does. does. Almost in the identical spot last year in Washington. Yes. When he turned and banked it in against the Wizards to force overtime. And now Lauren Holtkamp says LeBron James was fouled and now a chance to tie. An improbable night here in Philly. My goodness. If the Cavs can pull this one off and go into overtime, it'll be a miracle. LeBron gets fouled and pushed right there. Yeah. Opportunity for three shots. Remember Kevin Love was on the other end of that pass and walk. LeBron for three. Got one. Two to go. The oh, hand yeah. The hip definitely was pushed on. He makes this one. He'll make the next one. Oh, it popped out. Partway down. Now he's got to intentionally miss. And we'll put in some bigger bodies. Does he try to line it off the front rim? 132, 130. Larry Nance Jr. will check in. What an ending. This is. Intentionally misses. Tipped up by Nance. No! Bogan! It would have tied the game when the Cavaliers fall short. And an unbelievable comeback bid, but fall 132 to 130. Boy, oh boy, he got his hand on it, just couldn't quite control it. But the Cavaliers come all the way back and almost had an opportunity to pull this one out. 13 is a lucky number for Philadelphia tonight as they win their 13th in a row. Nance got a healthy palm on it, but could not control it enough. And the Sixers walk off the floor by the skin of their teeth and win by two and now move into the third spot in the